one to the NBA on 2K Sports. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Milwaukee Bucks going up against the Boston Celtics. Along with Mike Fratello and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan. And we've got David Aldridge reporting in from the sidelines. Coming down the home stretch of this NBA regular season, Coach, what is most important for teams to focus on right now? For the teams that are contenders, I would say to make sure they peak at the right time. And for teams moving down into the standings, look to experiment some with younger players. See what you have. Lister, the pass to the dude. Connects on the 17-footer. The dude's got the game going here with the first basket for the Bucks. And he cracks the seal on this one with the first score. I expect a high-energy contest from start to finish in this one. Henderson passes to Bird. Out to Henderson. Here's Parrish to go along with his length. Parrish is an efficient scorer with a variety of moves. Hey, sometimes you just got to take a foul. That's the best way to protect the basket. Yep, better to send him to the line than allow an easy layup. Both free throws good from Parrish. A double-double machine. Parrish understands his strengths on offense and also works hard at the defensive end. Johnson with it. Now Henderson defending. Johnson can't get it to go. For the Bucks. they won their last contest that game against the Nets. Here's Bird. That one falls coming off Johnson's feet. The floor general leadership of Johnson. Outstanding at realizing when a teammate is open. Moncrief the pass to the dude. Back to Moncrief. The pass to Johnson. Shot clock at five. The dude cans the shot from the wing. The dude's got his second bucket of the night. Knocks down that jumper easily over the taller defender. Not a high percentage look. Coach doesn't mind as long as you make it. Now here's Henderson. Really struggled in the loss against Utah. Bird misses. Total breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. And Moncrief gets it to go. One of the toughest customers and competitors in the league, Sidney Moncrief. The Celtics have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. Henderson passes to Bird. Over Johnson. And it's Bird missing. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Here's the dude, Henderson defending, and he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. The Bucks shooting their first free throws of the game. And he knocks down the first one. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Boston off to a slow start. It's a three-point game. This game coming after a loss against the Jazz. Their defense was all spread out, not connected, leaving lots of holes, which the offense was able to exploit. They just weren't communicating, weren't hustling. I'm sure it was driving Coach up the wall. And that one's good, the dude. Clearly, he's found his rhythm early in this one. Looking to score whenever he can, whenever he has it. And this team encourages him to be active on offense because they understand how dangerous he can be. Johnson, the pass to Maxwell. Here's Bird. They double-team Bird. Some nice ball movement here by the Celtics. No problems knocking that one down. Nice shot. DJ loves to go to work in that mid-range area. Bucks have gotten four of six field goal attempts to drop in the first quarter. 
There's the dude. And it's another Milwaukee shot right there going in. Big effort gets the big reward. Simply outplaying the defense. Henderson passes to Parrish. Back to Henderson. Johnson up top. Bird inside the three-point line. Rebounded by the Bucks. Last meeting was in Boston, where they were unable to fight off the Celtics. Last time against this team, they got crushed on the glass and on the scoreboard. It was a woodshed. It was definitely a wake-up call. We'll see how they answer back. Henderson outside. Here's Parrish, and it's Parrish with the jam. You'll get tons of that from Henderson. Has a great feel for where his guys are on the floor. Johnson outside. Passes to Moncrief. Back to Johnson. Here's the dude. And the shot's good on the assist by Johnson. And that's 11 points for the dude. Celtics trail by three. Johnson surveying the floor. Parrish with the screen on Moncrief. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. 7-1 with great skill. Parrish is one of the toughest assignments in the league. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. The defense has been giving them plenty of mid-range jumpers, and they've been making them pay for that mistake. Yeah, and another thing is... Here's the dude. He had a 30-point outing their last game against New Jersey. This is clearly a man on fire. Was tremendous last game. And that has bled into this game. Just a force on offense. Pass to Ainge. It's Bird, top of the key. And his offense just hasn't been there. The Bucks shooting 52% from the four. Nice work so far from them. And that one drops. So clever at slicing his way inside. Moncrief reads defenses incredibly well. Here's Buckner. Brewer with the rebound. Milwaukee in the lead. Coach Rotello, they've been effective on the offensive end in this one. Yeah, they've created good looks and made the most of them. He's going the ball. He has been lethal and efficient. Wow. Here's Buckner. He trains the quick shot. Buckner's got his first bucket of the night. Really textbook use of the dribble. Getting inside to get his work done. Johnson, the pass to Moncrief. Here's the dude, the 17-footer. And that's collected by Bird. That's a shot he'd like back. Won't miss those very often. Well, a good look. They keep getting shots like that. They'll be all right. For Milwaukee, they've gone three of four from the floor here in the second quarter. And the rejection by Bird. He takes it in. Redmond the pass to Buckner. On grief against Ainge, Brewer, and it's Bird with the rebound. Bird's got four rebounds in this game. The shot by Ainge, no good. Really good anticipation. Got a hand in the face right there. Really disruptive defensively. Great challenge. To the right side. Here's the dude. Nails it with a hand in his face. The dude's got six in the quarter. Boy, he's playing out of his head. Nailing everything. And the defense is scrambling to try to stop him right now. And so far, no go. Here's Bird. Nails the wide open jump shot. This is how automatic Bird is. All he needs is the ball. And instantly, that shot is gone. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. Maxwell, he's checked in for the Celtics. Henderson comes in for Angel. Bucks have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. 
Moncrief the pass to Brewer. Bucks passing it around. Poke loose. And he finishes nicely on the way. Love the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Inside and outside action. Here's Buckner. And just over three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's McHale. And it's Kevin McHale with the finish. Relentless on the boards. McHale will outwork any opponent. You have to try to match his level of energy. Here's the dude. There's the dish to Johnson. Pass to Moncrief. Just five to shoot. The pass to the dude. Puts it up from 17. And another basket for Milwaukee. This is just solid offensive awareness. Moncrief sees the open shooter and knows to get him the ball. Passes it to McHale. the court come the Bucks on the break Moncrief dishes to Brewer sinks that one from the post now it's a four point Bucks lead what a feed by Moncrief adept at keeping the ball moving here he goes that one drops for him Buckner's got six here in this quarter great recognition to read the D and go with the floater beautiful touch took him no time at all on that one Bridgman's got the lead up to four now for Milwaukee. Now a timeout called by Boston. Boston making some changes. Robert Parrish has checked in for Bird. And it's Johnson in for Buckman. And so it's Milwaukee looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. And we'll be right back after this. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. We're seeing a tremendous game from the dude. I don't think there's any question about it. The coach talked to them at halftime about what adjustments they need to make in order to slow him down and keep him from going off. Yeah, he really torched them in the first half. I'm sure a lot of their focus will be on slowing him down in the second Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Henderson. The Bucs shooting fantastically in this game, 62% from the floor. The dude passes to Brewer. Here's the dude, defended by Bird. And the rejection by Bird! And here comes the break. Here's Maxwell. Good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. Bird's got his third assist on the night. Well, you pay so much attention to Bird, that opens things up for others. And that one's good, the dude. Hey, it's as plain as pound cake. Keep it simple. They want to see how big this league can get. No such thing as running up the score at this level. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That'll be his second foul of the game. Team foul. Here's Parrish. Seven points in the game. Johnson outside. There's the lob to the hoop. Lays it in off the pretty alley-oop. So good to see two guys on the same page like this. I know. It's like you and I. It's like they finish each other's sentences. Yeah, we know that feeling. Oh, we do. Or in this case, one finishing off the other's perfectly thrown pass. And he makes that one. 23 points for the dude. And when he's getting his on offense, it usually results in a lead like this. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's his third foul of the game. Second team foul.
90 seconds now into the second half. And the shot goes in. Henderson's got his third basket of the night. Getting it done inside. I like watching guards like Henderson find ways to score down low. Johnson against Bird. Johnson with the bounce pass. Here's the dude. A rebound by the Celtics. Lister. And it's slammed in by Brewer. Sending it right back with authority. He is such an asset, Clark, to his team on the class. Wow. Yeah, keeping the ball out of enemy hands and making sure they finish the play strong. Assistant, Gerald Henderson. Here's the dude. He's got 23. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. The ball goes to Boston. As we approach the playoffs, let's see how the East is shaping up. We'll look at the Bucks. They've continued to play strong basketball, if not utterly dominant, as the last part of the season grinds toward the playoffs. And it looks like, guys, they'll hold on to that number one spot the whole way there. And, of course, the Celtics, three spots below. Henderson outside. Screen by Parrish. Henderson kicks to Bird. The 11-footer, and again, it's Boston converting. He just makes scoring look so easy. Bird is especially dangerous for the mid-range area. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Now here is Moncrief. He's got five. Shoots. Lister tips it back in. Lister's got eight points. That's why you never give up on a play. He worked to get in position and came away with the second chance points. And here's Henderson. Six points for him. On the wing, Burke. Just five on the clock. Second shot opportunity. A shot's good from Parrish. He's got nine. The long arms of Parrish, using that incredible length to do damage on the offensive glass. Here's the dude. He's guarded by Johnson. Here's Moncrief. No good with the layup. Celtics trail by seven. In the corner, Henderson with it. Back to Johnson. Parrish high post. Here's Maxwell. Good for the fifth time in five shots. He remains perfect. So good at using his height to scan the floor. Parrish capable of finding open teammates this way. the dude. Bucket is good. The dude's got six in the quarter. A high percentage look. Can't get closer than that. And so Henderson will bring it up for the Celtics. They trail by seven. Next matchup, they'll be home against the Suns. And that's the first game in a string of three straight at home. Here's Maxwell. Got a hand on it. Moncrief against Johnson. Got that one up quick. And the Bucks lead by nine. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Bucks. They've been so aggressive getting out on shooters all game long. Nothing's getting past this defense. And that, to me, has been impressive. And you've got to respect their energy level. A lot of steals, to their credit, staying active and making things happen. How about that? Some volleyball skills out there. Yeah, good word to use. Just tapping it up and tapping it again. That takes great coordination. Good on the triple. The dude's got nine points here in the second half. You know, you'd think the height mismatch would run him off the perimeter. No, sir. Didn't happen there. Takes more than just some extra inches to deter him. He was committed to getting his shot. 
Bird outside. Baseline jumper, and that one drops for him. Bird's got eight points. Yeah, you know, the defense is wise to guard Bird closely, but he always maintains his cool and gets his shot to go through despite the tight defense. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Austin making some changes. Kevin McHale, he checked in for Maxwell. Redmond comes in for Bird. Bucks leading by four. The dude passes to Mike. Here's Presley. Trying to find Johnson. He's got it now. Shot clock at six. Here's the dude. And right on target. Good. And that's now 30 points for the dude. Paul Pressy, really the original point forward, if you will. Such a great passer from the forward position. Feeds it to McHale. Knocked away. Johnson, the pass to the dude. He's feeling it. That one falls. Coming off the Johnson feet. Johnson's got five assists tonight. Down the stretch, when you need buckets, go to the guy who's gotten you this far. Yeah, he's been relentless. And it's stolen by Moncrief. To the paint. And slam dunk by Johnson. Wow, the incredible leaping ability of Johnson. Adding some flair to that dunk. Pass to Ainge. And there's a whistle. There's a foul. That's going to go on the dude. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Far, he's checked in for the Celtics. Substitution for the Celtics. Number 30, Emma Carr. On defense, Milwaukee. 13 points was their biggest lead in the game. Pass to Bird. Five to shoot. Rebounded by the Bucks. Brewer's got his fourth rebound in this one. The feed to Pressy. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. And they have not let up. They are still in attack mode despite their sizable lead. And I like that mindset. Never let up. You don't want to give the opponent any opportunity to get back in this one. Gerald Henderson, he's checked in for Carr. When you think of versatile wing players, Pressy jumps out at you. Scores, passes, and defends very well. Bird passes to Buckner. No good on that one. Here's Milwaukee now. Nine points in a row. Good run for him right now. The pass to Bridgman. And here's Moncrief. Here's Preston. Bridgman shots good. They can't miss on an absolute tear. This is a thing of beauty. Perfect offensive basketball. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And I'd bet right now, Coach wants to go over the turnover problem. Seems like they've been trying to force things a bit. Just need to get back into a steady rhythm. Establish the pace of the offense so they can string together a good run. Solid possessions without trying to do too much. Johnson, he's checked in for Pressy. And a change for the Celtics. Carr's checked in. And while we've got a moment, let's send it over to our terrific reporter, David Aldridge. David? Guys, during that last break, I listened to Casey Jones address his team. Now he tore into his guys. He said, your body language is awful right now. You don't even look like you want to play right now. Should I sub in for you? Where's the drive to win? Guys? Thank you, David. They get it again. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Pass to McHale. Here's Wedman. That one falls. Coming off McHale's feet. Kevin McHale. Selfless play by McHale with the ball. Didn't like what he saw for himself, so he gives it away. Celtics foul call. Scott Wedman. Third personal foul. Second team foul. Get up, get up, 
here's the dude. He feeds it to Brewer. Boy, love the hustle defensively that time from Mikhail. His coaches and teammates like it too. Here's Henderson. Makes good on the step back jumper. The defense was certainly a little tardy in reacting to the step back there. Here's the dude. It's good only a few seconds into the shot clock. The dude's got six in the quarter. Celtics trail by 13. Anderson looking it over. Inside. Here's Bird. Back to Anderson. Pass to Wedman. Five on the clock. Here's Bird. Anderson, no one around him. Rebounded by the Bucks. Bridgman's got four rebounds now tonight. The dude passes to Johnson. Lays it up off the glass. And the Bucks lead by 15. Uses that frame and great footwork. Johnson to the rim with ease. Time call here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Some changes for Boston. Parrish is checked in for McCain. Maxwell comes in for Wedden. And it's Johnson in for Carr. Johnson, the pass to Anderson. That's good, and it's Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got his seventh assist in the game. I like the play call. Very solid, making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. Down low. Johnson can't hit. Not a strong finish there, resulting in a rare miss from him. Here's Maxwell from down in the low post. It goes. Have to be impressed with Maxwell right now. He's simply overwhelming the defense. Timeout called the Bucks. Milwaukee making a switch here. Lister's checked in. Alton Lister. Bucks leading by 11. Here's the dude. Got a piece of it. Count that one. The dude's got 36. Here's Johnson. He kicks to Henderson. Lost to Parrish. Down to five on the shot clock. Can't connect from 14 feet out. They can't expect him to miss that shot consistently. On grief up top. Johnson left side. They find Jay on the way. That one rolling around and rims out. And it's Henderson with the ball for the Celtics. It's a 13-point game. Here's the dude. There's the pass to Lister. Count it. Number five from the four this game. He's now five of 11. And Mike, you look around the NBA, some incredible big men in the game right now, right, right in front of us. Well, they certainly dominate the landscape. Kareem, Moses Malone. Then you have guys like Mark Eaton, Artis Gilmore. The list goes on. If you had to pick a favorite, who's a guy in particular that you like to watch play at that size, that position? I have to be honest that Kareem, from the time I was in elementary school, junior high school, following this guy that I heard, the phenom from New York City, <laughs> I have followed Kareem's career, and he has to be the all-time best at that position. Here's the dude, Henderson defending. The dude passes to Lister. Here's the dude from about 19 feet. And off the glass. That one's good. The dude's got 38 points. Celtics trail by 13. 
Henderson outside. Bird outside. Parrish with the screen on Johnson. To the middle. Here's the dude, defended by Parrish. The dude. And again, it's Milwaukee converting. Hey, this was exactly the kind of game coach wanted to see from them. High effort, great play at both ends, gets the win for the Bucks. Well, Clark, they did the better job handling the ball tonight, limiting turnovers. And then at the other end, they were very disruptive defensively. And what's been a good season already, tonight's win will take their record to 50 wins, a big milestone here tonight. And what a tremendous standout performance it was for the Dude. He's been assertive looking to score. And the defense appears... Passes it to Mike. Here's the dude. Henderson defending. Here's the dude. Back to Moncrief. Here's Bridgman. Robert Parrish comes up with the rebound. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Henderson outside. To the inside. Here's Maxwell, and down it goes, jamming that one home. Well, their play has certainly gone to another level. You just wish they'd made this move sooner. Yeah, had this happened with more time left to go, they might have turned this around. Here's the dude. Puts up a deep three. Misses. And so it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. Fueled by the energy in this arena, they were able, Clark, to take control of this one. Yep, you always want to show out in front of the home crowd, and they did not disappoint. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. So for Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching this 2K sports presentation of the NBA. So long.